Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool modern looking CV slash resume in Notion to present all your work experience, education, skills and awards. So to start, just open up a new page in Notion and the first thing we're going to do is make these little boxes. So this first kind of intro section right here. So what we do is do a call out to get this kind of box. And then we can customize it with color. So I'm going to choose the purple background. And then I can also change the logo here or the icon. So I head over to icon, just like this, and choose the purple color. Here I'm just going to spell out about and then free spaces here and then about me. And make this also purple, just like this. You can also choose the underline to make it look a little bit nicer. So you're going to have to put in your text down below. And I also like to make it a bit gray so that you have a little contrast between these ones. Then what you do is select all of these ones and drag it in underneath the heading right here. After that, we might want to add an image so you can do the image block to update an image. And the cool thing is that we can put these into columns. So I'm going to use this dragging function here and you just place it to the right. And after that, we will be able to adjust how big we want this to be. As we can see, it gets quite cramped with these two columns here. So you can head up down to this three buttons right here and then also choose the full width option. And just like that, you get a little bit more space. Then I'm going to proceed to the contacts. So I'm just going to go down here, choose another call out. And instead of doing a background color, I'm just going to choose the purple outline. And from here, you might do, for example, your phone and choose a purple icon for that. And we can actually keep this as it is. And for example, have the phone just like this. But what you can also do, so I'm going to do Alt and drag down. We can also choose the duplicate button. So what you can also do is use a custom icon. And from here, I'm going to choose my Instagram icon here. And as we can see, then it will have its own custom icon. After that, I want to add the work experience section. So I'm going to just do work and then three spaces and then experience and do this one in purple and you can also do three dashes to get a little extra line going on there and add some more space down below we can also change the font actually by going to the serif font to make it a bit more professional looking then right here i'm going to do the bold face and type in job title gonna exit the bold face and also then you say organization name then I'm gonna make this job title also purple and here I'm gonna do shift and enter to go right down below and here I'm just going to do my date just like that and similarly we're just gonna do this one in gray to have a bit more contrast between these ones and from here I'm just gonna press an enter to get a new paragraph and then I can just copy some of this placeholder text right here so as we can see, we got the placeholder text, we got the organization name, and this is like one own block with the title and the um, dates, and then we have the description. And then we can just copy these ones, do command C and command V, for example, to add in some more of these work experience. And then when we want to just do our education section, we can just copy these ones again, add in another one here. And instead of having job title, I'm just gonna right degree and here you can do the same thing where you have for example degree and you can even do it at like university name or course or whatever here university name and then we can just do the same thing just copy these ones a few times over so it's starting to look really good we're going to work on this next column down here so again i'm just going to do another call out choose color and purple background and I'm also again going to go to my icons and choose this purple icon right here. And as previously, I'm going to do skills, do underline, and then choose purple. Here, I'm going to do another call out actually, and but make it this outline. So it's just going to do purple right here. And then I'm going to drag this one in inside this box. Here, I'm just going to do with a bold face, whatever skill you want to do, for example, Figma, or you might do programming or Python or whatever. And on icons, you can then use shoes, for example, design for Figma. And perhaps if you got 
a Python skill, you might search for code and choose a code icon. And maybe you're also really good at Premiere Pro or something for video editing. So you can then also search for maybe a camera and you can have icons kind of corresponding to the different skills that you got. We might also want to have a little border beneath this one. So I'm going to do another border and then I can just copy on all of these down here. And we might also do a section for languages. And what I like to do with the language is, for example, if you do Spanish and then I might just say native or we might have French and that's fluent. And let's say we also speaking English. Why not? And we might have this one in basic. And like this, we can just choose gray to have a bit more variation between these ones. And we can also choose, for example, uh, Spain, and we can choose France, and we can also choose some English. So it's really nice to just have these language icons right there. If you got this one where you got all the lines going all the way, we can. It, often means that we're not having it in this column. So we can just drag and then put these ones inside this column right here. Another thing we might want to add above here, so I'm going to add the plus button. And we can also add a little articles or kind of publications little box. So again, I'm going to copy that one over and I'm going to remove what content we got in here. And instead, I'm going to do kind of this thing. So title, do a little pipe and just like that, I'm going to do shift enter and add a little text. So just one sentence here and add it below. So you can do shift enter just like that. Then I'm going to do this in purple and then I can choose both of them or just, well, this is one block, drag it in just like that. And I'm also going to do this one in gray. And here I can just do alt drag a couple of times, as many times as we need. I'm also going to add a little divider, just like that. And we might also want to use a little awards and honors down here. So I'm just going to do Command C and go outside this column and then use Command V. And here we might do awards. And either we can have it in the same style, use title, but we can see it's quite wide. So here we can do actually slash and choose two columns. And here then we can drag in our kind of award instead then in this column and just like that we can also take this whole thing drag it into this column and we can actually get a really nice two column layout in this last block and i'm just going to drag and remove the last things there and with that we have a really really nice uh, resume or cv and in the end, you might want to do some extra kind of spaces to get these ones a bit more aligned. And in this case, we might want to add in another line at the top and another space to try and get these ones to line up. You might need to tinker around uh, doing enters and shift enters and adding some lines here and there to get these lines to line up. But with a little bit of tweaking and tinkering, you should be able to get that worked out. And just like that, you got a really nice CV. And if you want to have a look at more of these CVs, I can recommend my Notion CV Essentials Pack, where you get this uh, modern CV in purple and a bunch of different colors, but you also have a bunch of different CVs, like a professional CV and a bold CV in different styles. So if you want to just get these ones, you can check out the link below. And with that, thank you for watching.